the director and writer and actor uh, of somebody I used to know is here in studio, Dave Franco. Uh, I reintroduce you, sir. We just saw a great clip it. on our Roku channel audience. Can, thanks for thanks for being here. Greatly really, appreciate really. Thanks it. for having me, man. You got it. So uh, this movie uh, you co-wrote with your your wife, Allison yeah. Brie, who's in it. Is this is this how you guys met, or is this no no we've at all? we've uh, believe it or not we've been together eleven years. Okay. Yeah, we we've, we've worked together a few times. This is the second time we've worked together in this capacity where I'm directing her, and uh, like I was saying, like when people ask like how it was working with my wife, the tone they have when they're asking that question really kind of says a lot about how they would think about working with their own partner, <laughs> and a lot of people have a very kind of uh, negative maybe. Um, inquisitive tone and for whatever reason it just works with us and I think it part of it is that I I think she's one of the best actors on the planet mm -hmm. and it, she just makes my job easy in that way and we just really trust each other um yeah and we, it's just like you know it, it's so nice to have her there with me not just because she's such a good actor but just to have that support you know as a director there's so many times where you get in your own head and just to have someone there at the end of the day being like don't spin out. Everything's going great. It's, yes. it's it's invaluable. So she must not spend her entire day telling you what to do then. I mean, some of the day it's part of the job. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, truly, like we we feel like this is this is the dream where we're able to build these projects from the ground up. And I'm able to travel with my wife and our two cats to Portland, Oregon and just oh, have a great time. I yeah. did not know that uh, <laughs> before we get to that. I, I guess I should have been a little bit more specific in what I uh, and asking uh, about this. You know, is this how you met your wife? Mm -mm. I, I meant, I guess, the construct of the film. Oh, oh, no, where, no, no. Where, we... <laughs> where she plays somebody who runs into an old flame after a 10 year growing apart and then uh right so then uh basically what happens from there is um they have this kind of whirlwind night together yes. and she starts to kind of reevaluate everything and think like you know maybe this guy is the answer to all my issues and then in that moment she finds out that he is getting married that weekend yes and so uh no this did not happen we we Even did not have to crash a wedding to okay. to be together no uh but there's a lot of little little details throughout that are either taken from our lives or or um, you know our friends like for example uh, you know there's a scene where um, she's on the plane with her cat and her cat um, poos and and yes. uh, and pukes uh, in on the plane and and fun stuff happens so that happened to my wife actually hmm. on the plane ride to our first movie that we did together is that right yeah fun times okay <laughs> so uh, is that a good luck thing to I have think your so. Cat, uh, <laughs> Go to the bathroom and vomit on the plane. Uh, it's going to be one of those things. A little bit, okay. yeah. It's a nice little tradition, All hopefully right. going forward. Okay, very good. So again, somebody I used to know is launching globally on Prime Video Friday, February 10th. Dave Franco here on the Rich Eisen Show. You are, fr I, I saw you're, you're born on the campus of Stanford. Is that basically where you were born um, or in the outskirts of yeah, that? Right, right around there, yes. I grew up in Palo Alto. Okay, that's where you're from. Yes. So that means you're a Niner fan then. I am a Niner fan. This is good times. This then. is great times. It's okay. it's uh, it's wonderful. It's been it's been a weird year in the sense that we've had three quarterbacks. Yes. And now we have our third stringer, who's Mister Irre Mister Irrelevant, going seven and zero in his first seven starts, and it's it's insane. Well, it's kind of funny, uh, Dave. Now that we've met and I'm meeting you for the first yeah. time, and um, it, you know the the whole idea is how Brock Purdy has stepped into this role. Mm -hmm. And how uh, unprecedented it feels. Yes. And how you could make a movie. Uh, on his life, you, you, I think you could play Brock Purdy. You know what? Because you, you'd look you look way younger than your age. I, I you accept. Know, if you don't mind me saying, no, no, please. Don't you think? Don't you think <laughs> Dave yes. Franco and the you, Brock Purdy story? I think sold. I think you got to give me about fourteen inches. Uh, he is six uh, one. He's six one. Okay. He is six one. He's listed at six one. I think if we give me some lifts, we could do this. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, anyway, yeah. Wait, Tom shoot. Cruise style. We shoot you below the waist. There you go. You know what I mean? That's the way to go. do it. Hero style. Let's do you go. do your own stunts? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> I We're think put, put it out in the universe. I'm in. Make it happen. Dave Franco and the Brock Purdy story. <laughs> I think it works. And by the way, he, the way he comes to work too, because we're on NFL Network. We're always shooting, uh, you know, live shots of guys walking sure. in. He plays to the type. He's just where he's wearing a backpack. It looks like he's on campus when he comes to work. He's unassuming. Know? He's humble. I love it all. 
So you're fired up about this. I'm right very now. fired up. I mean, I know I know everyone's like wondering is is this real? Like is you know when when is when is he going to hit a wall? And like it's tough because what he's doing is objectively incredible, right? Yes. But if he doesn't win the Super Bowl on his ninth career start, mm. then it's then everyone's going to be like, or at least some people are going to be like, yeah, I told you, he was not as good as we thought. And he's, <laughs> like that's such a high bar. It's insane pressure. Well, I know. And we were talking about has he hasn't he done enough already? Yeah. To show that he should be the guy next year. I absolutely think so. And you know. You, I, I'm curious to hear your take on him and just like what you think, what what you're seeing, and if you think it's real, and if tell me, tell me everything. Well, it is real, yeah, because we're seeing it. Yes, right? yes, like it is real, and he has not made the mistake yet. Exactly. Inevitably, he will. Of course. And the question is, what will happen? Yeah. Will it come at a point where it'll be too late for him to do anything about it? Because mm -hmm. heaven forbid it happens in a game-winning situation. Yeah, right. In fourth quarter, or does it happen on the biggest stage possible, the Super Bowl? Right. Um, and so what will happen then? But we still haven't seen it yet. I know. So it doesn't matter. And I, I, I kind of find it still a little bit too early to talk about next year. Yeah, because there's still so much on the line mm -hmm. here, but they're going to have a decision to make. Do they go back and give lot, it to Trey Lance? Put a lot into him as well. But he's also two years down the road. It'll be a year number three, yeah. and there's yeah. you know he he will wind up being potentially more expensive. Or do you just already go with the kid you already know that the locker room is already into, and who's who's on a, got three more years left on a contract that you know is peanuts I, like literally nothing yeah i guess the the next couple of weeks will inform a lot where like if, if this if this guy wins the super bowl like there's your answer right of course <laughs> could you imagine yeah. if they benched him could, after could winning the super yeah. bowl and going Brock, nine and oh <laughs> thanks for doing it but that's the job of a backup you did the job <laughs> that was required of you Thanks for playing. Yep. We're going somewhere else. Like hell no. That's its own movie and it's it, in its it own, in its own right. <laughs> We're writing it right now. It writes itself. Yeah, you're all right. You're attached. We're writing it. Let's go pitch it. All right. But it is over what happens over the next two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Dave Franco here on the Rich Eisen show. So um, I, I'm just going to throw it out here because um, yeah. we, we we've just met. Uh, you mentioned a wife and two cats. Um, mm -hmm. Is that your your football watching crowd? Is that, that is my crowd. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we got a hardcore team. Okay. <laughs> so you're watching by yourself these games? Essentially, or um, no, no. My my wife is pretty good about it actually. Like when we first met, and yes. I was trying to get her into it, I remember the first game we watched. She she immediately took to it where she ordered a vintage Niners hat on eBay just Very to good. pretend like she had been a fan for a long time. What I else like can it. you ask for? Vintage. Wow. Vintage, but yeah, yeah. That's a veteran move. Exactly. <laughs> oh, I've had this for so long, <laughs> even though they sell these already worn. And there looking you go. Old. Okay, where's she from? She's originally. actually from L.A., from Pasadena. All right, that's why she's, I mean... There's no, there's no football. She didn't grow up around football. That's true. She didn't grow up around football. That's at true. All. I've corrupted her a little bit though. Okay. With, you know, I've got her a little bit on the Giants, even though she grew up with the Dodgers. Okay. And you okay. got her. She's a Warriors fan now. Okay. And, well, you know. I mean, how can you not be? Exactly. I mean, Steph Curry is just. I mean, what a dream it's come the most, true. Most, most fun person to watch ever. So, did you grow up in Candlestick? Did you go to games there? Did you? Yeah. Do that? Oh yeah, I, mean, I grew up going to Candlestick. Yeah, okay. we would. Me and my buddies would go earlier, go early, and we would sit in the the bleachers and try to get uh, batting practice home runs and. Okay. Doing the whole thing. Did you go to any of the Niners games there too? The, some the of them, stick? not as many, but some, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was an. I mean, I, I, I remember being there. That was an old, old, old place. It would get very cold there. I know. So, have yeah. you been to the new spots? Yeah, at all. Amazing. Okay. Incredible. All right. And are you a Stanford fan too? Because they're at Palo Alto, or no, I am, really? but I, I don't keep up with uh, college sports quite as much. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Are oh, you fantastic. judging me for that? I am not judging. <laughs> I judge nobody. I judge absolutely nobody. But um, do you have a do you have a favorite sport? If you had to pick one. Well, my first love. Uh, do you want to switch spots? Absolutely. We can do that. <laughs> do you want to? Do you really want absolutely, to? Do yeah. Okay. I think we should do it. This is great. Great. We did this with Micah Parsons. It became the Micah Parsons show. Yeah. Now it's the Dave have you Franco ever been in that show. Seat? I have. Yep. Oh, okay. My, last time I did this, Micah Parsons of the Dallas Cowboys yeah. sat in that oh, stage. Oh, so. great. Okay. All this. right. Uh, uh, yeah, tell me about your first love. <laughs> we're talking sports still, right? We are. Okay, we can transition, good. though, to whatever uh, you want. Uh, no. Um, I, I'm, I'm just uh, trying to figure out um, how to answer this question. My first love is, is baseball. 
Okay. I loved baseball. I covered that at ESPN for all those many years. Was this something because of growing up and going to the games with maybe your dad or something like that? My dad how- my dad did not like sports at all. Oh. As a matter of fact, if I just followed, should I use the line I always use here? Sure, absolutely. If I followed my dad's passions, the Rich Eisen show would be about Judy Garland movies. Okay. Also a very fun show. <laughs> <laughs> yes. A very fun show. Has he since gotten more into sports because of how my- my dad, you are. my dad would watch me all the time. Um, he would watch me all the time, and he would say to me, I'd get phone calls from him like, boy, how do you keep saying the name Mitch Richmond without <laughs> s- tripping up on yourself? Like, that's the sort of... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he would not ever say, really say get... Say Mitch Richmond five times real quick. It sounds like, how, how could no, you do say, it. Oh, Mitch Richmond, Mitch Richmond, Mitch Richmond, Mitch Richmond, Mitch Richmond. Pretty good. Well, when I first started out, Dave, it was it was the uh, the Mitch Richmond Sacramento Kings days as well. So okay, that's sure. where I started. I started up in Redding. You know where Redding must of be. Of course, of Being course. Being out there from Northern California. Absolutely. Real quick, say Detlef Shrimp five times real quick. Uh, Detlef Shrimp, Detlef Shrimp, Detlef. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Trip me up. This Dave Franco show is a bitch. Tough, tough gig. It's a tough gig. Did you ever want to do this sort of thing? You Yourself? know, um, I, I was a pretty shy kid growing up. Um, I was I was the kid in middle school. I said like cumulative probably eight words throughout middle school, and I had no intention of performing in any way. Mm-hmm. And uh, I initially came out to LA to go to school. I was going to USC, and I basically got, got forced into an acting class. And I remember auditing the class, and so I was sitting in the back, and the first people on stage, they start screaming and crying and hitting each other. I was yeah. like, no, 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 no. Uh, but I stuck it out because I love I love movies. I've always loved movies. My first job ever, I was 14 years old working at a mom and pop video store, and it was actually uh, illegal for me to be working there at that age. And so they, <laughs> they basically <laughs> paid me by allowing me to take home as many movies as I wanted, and that was like my schooling. And I just I fell in love with it. And so I think with acting, even though even though it took me a little while to kind of get comfortable with it, um, I, I guess I maybe subconsciously saw it as just like a way into the movie business. Fantastic. By the way, this seat is much lower than I would think. I know. Yeah, it's low. I feel much more powerful over here. Yeah, you see it up? <laughs> yeah, I get it. You see it? You get it? But it's higher, Rich. <laughs> All right, very good. If, right. you weren't, if you weren't doing this, what would you be doing? Huh. This show? Yeah. I'd be playing golf right now? No, nothing to do oh. with sports. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I mean, like, literally, um, I don't know, why am I looking at you like this? Yeah, like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm a phone a friend. <laughs> like, I'm phoning a friend. Like, if I wasn't doing like this, what would I be Sinatra doing? Yeah. karaoke singer? Rich, you do see, I, I don't you know, know. I, I mean, see you. Stan- yeah. I did stand-up before I did this. Mm-hmm. I did stand-up You did, up you did some stand-up. I did. How many years? Um, about five years. Was it terrifying? Did I you was, get comfortable with uh, it? I was. I, it, it's the toughest thing I've ever had to do. Absolutely, yeah. It makes this much. It makes this sort of live stuff so easy. That makes sense. Did yeah. you enjoy it while you were doing it? Um, it was so nerve wracking. Yeah. Sometimes it would be so tough. Yeah. And the toughest part is after it was all over and you're hanging out with the fellow comics and they would be so miserable. Are you still kind of in contact with any of oh, that, I, that crew? No, not when I do, used to do it. But I just love comics. I love comedy. I love comics. Yeah. That's what I like yeah, having yeah. here. What yeah. about in terms of, uh, does that kind of transition to the movies that you like? Are you into comedies or what, what kind of movies? I'm, I'm a big um, drama guy watching TV, but I do love comedies. Big but, drama guy watching yeah, my TV, favorite, what my are you favorite talking movie, about? Yeah. My favorite movie uh, comedy is Midnight Run. Great. I mean, one of the best buddy duos ever. I'm sorry to name any of the films that you're in right That's there. okay. Okay. That's okay. Right. Which of my films do you like the most? And mm-hmm. then which one do you like the least? And I'll give you some, if you don't know them, that's okay. I'm going to give you a, a list of some of them. And okay. you guys can kind of list them off too if you oh, want. Okay, Dave right. Franco. All right. I think, I think your favorite is going to be... Super bad. I mean, I do. I have two lines in that, so that's a little <laughs> offensive that that's your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> They're good lines. They're good lines. The what about 21 Jump Street? Jump Street. I, I was in 22 Jump Street. Oh, Wow. So okay. without you, so you and your performance, I wouldn't be getting three dollar checks because I did a lot of ADR. This is with um, well, uh, uh, with uh, for, Will, Forte. Will Forte. This is some full circle stuff right here. I was in twenty two Jump Street. I so. am the reason you have had any success from my <laughs> my role in twenty one Jump Street, including this very segment. Absolutely, <laughs> including this um, segment. Yes. Okay. What about Neighbors? Uh, it's a good movie. I just went higher. I just went higher register. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. What's, what's your gripe with it? 
uh, I just you know, not for you. This he, wasn't for me. Okay. Well, he hates his real life neighbors. Do you no. hate your real life neighbors? <laughs> no. <laughs> Are we about to start Come a war? On, man. We're about to start a war. What's the matter with you? <laughs> what the hell's the matter with you? They're not listening. They're not listening. What the hell's the matter with you? <laughs> Why would you say that? Um, okay, okay, oh, but yes. dramas for TV. Um, right now, what am I watching? You said right you now? like dramas and when it comes I to TV. Do, I do, I do. I'm uh, Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul. Yes, yes. Uh, currently uh, deep into uh, Yellowstone, mm-hmm, 1923. Mm-hmm. 1883 is one of the most incredible shows I've seen. Is it? I've okay. Seen. Have you not seen Sell it? Sell me on it. Sell me on it. Uh, unbelievable. It. Just spectacular. I Just, mean, that's all you're going to say? Give uh, me something. Uh, the <laughs> acting's incredible. Yeah. The, the vistas are, are beautiful. Um, Everything, the writing, the directing, the whole bit. He's a great writer. Love it. Not eighteen eighty three. That Taylor is, Sheridan. I, you, I cannot believe. Did you see it. his movies before these shows? I did uh, not. Sicario and Hell or High Water. I did not. Get oh, on it. Hell or High Water. Beautiful. That was made Taylor movies. Sheridan. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. yeah he I wrote didn't it. Know that. Okay. Movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wonderful. All right. all right. Can we get him to do the Brock Purdy story? You, this is interesting. This is all coming together. I don't know if there's any easily. horses in it though. There's no horses. Brock Purdy, a horse in there. Brock Purdy went to Iowa State. Oh wow, we're getting a horse in there. Okay. Okay. I mean, the, how many horses are in Iowa? They have to. The okay. farm place. Okay. Right? Okay. <laughs> Iowa's farm. Who's, uh, who's your Who's your favorite uh, athlete that you like to talk to? You're looking at me. Because I talk to all the athletes with you watching. Yeah, I understand. Who do I like? Who's up there? Who's up there? Doesn't have to be favorite. Joe Namath. Love George Kittle. Oh, Kittle. 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 That makes sense. Yeah, Kittle, yeah, is, yeah. Kittle is amazing because he's just got that personality. He's, he's having fun. Did you see yeah. how he found the he found the the, uh, the connection there? The, no, he found the camera above him. Yeah, did was, you see that moment yeah. where he, no. he? Yeah, they had the uh, it was like fourth quarter. The oh, sky I cam was that. above yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. He, he like was mugging for the, the sky game cam. Wasn't even over. Something could have happened. I know that he's having a good Pretty time amazing. out there though. I know. I love it. You got to respect it. We had Steve Young on last week. Steve Young was great. Absolutely. Yeah. Mooch. Mooch. I love all my guys too. Irv. And, and Irv. When, when you think about those guys, I imagine like with Kittle, it's because he's got one of these personalities where is he a little more open? Is he excited? Just like he'll, he's, he'll no, get he's personal. Just, he's he'll, human. He's a he's human. human. Got it. He's, got it. He's, just a, he's just a dude. Yeah. And he has he, fun he, with his job too. Correct. Definitely. He has fun with his job too. Is, is, it, is it wild that like, <laughs> I, I guess I think about That's this, uh, where... Just like these athletes, you know, even talking about Brock Purdy, like how old is he? 22, 23? He's 23. 23 years old. Yes, I know. These athletes, they're just, they seem larger than life, but they're, they're, t- they're in their early mid 20s. I think your shirt's probably older than that. Right? You think so? Is this, Does this is feel this, vintage is to you? This, it's, it's, isn't it? Or are you oh. doing what your wife did with the hat? Like you bought something and makes it look <laughs> old, but it's not. It's like I think it is- might be the style. I think this is actually a newer shirt. And I'm curious what you think because. I, I uh, you know, I made a romantic comedy, the movie that we were just talking about, yes. and I'm kind of dressing to theme. And there was a lot of discussion about is that cheesy, and we said yes. Do we care? No, I don't we think don't. So. No, no. It's fun. Spell my name it's right. Fun. Talk about my movie. Let's go. You do look like you you just stepped off the set of Swingers right now. I got to be honest with you. <laughs> I think that's a compliment. But, I, mean, I love that a compliment. movie. Definitely. It absolutely is a compliment. <laughs> it's, one of my favorite, my it's one of my favorite comedies. Yes. It changed everyone's Acknowledging life. Acknowledging the cheese. Is, yes, is great. Yes. Are those broken hearts? They're broken hearts. We're doing a slightly unconventional romantic comedy. It all makes sense. By the way, that was my favorite Dave Franco movie, Acknowledging the Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. I, don't know I think that's that the was. name of the Brock Purdy story. It's, it's, yes. it's all coming together. Acknowledging the Cheese. If it only was a Packer, right? Oh, that would have been totally on brand. Too easy. T- Look at all that. right, Dave, thanks for coming on. Oh, here, thanks for having me, You man. got it. Dave Franco. I'll How do be, I get him I'll, out of my chair? I'll, I'll be wanna... here all week. Let's do it. <laughs> the Roku channel's like, to I don't it. mind that show. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, huh? <laughs> How much is, is Dave Franco available every day between like 3 and 6 Eastern? Who knows? Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.